Just one year, it was quite straightforward. People move in, people move out, seasons change. Our village shop was going to be run by volunteers. We only have the one shop. When I say shop, it's more like a community centre. I know where there's a blackbird's nest. I know where we be. Harley's also making a film. And Pira finds a skip full of shoes. The twins are building a dream home. Apart from all the usual stuff that happens, there is Iris. And if I catch a blackbird nest, I'll set the blemmer on fire. The chickens over there, get, they get loads. We hardly get any. <laughs> Just going into Chalford Valley. And when I first came, I was half my age. And this was like Hippie Valley, Centre for Alternative. <laughs> I have to say, one of the jolliest funerals I've ever been to. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. They deserve those two. Off we go. You can send it. Sometimes I think I could live somewhere else. But, uh, oh, look at these woods, how could I leave it? <laughs> these look a bit like garlic, actually. But they also look like onions. It was kind of spooky, don't you think? So how's your Japanese coming on? <laughs> um. <laughs> Matthew said, oh, well, I'll swap the car for a jar of honey, <laughs> which is fantastic. So we did, and I've got a car and he's got a jar of honey. But it was the last jar. <laughs> oh, my garlic was here. Maybe they were all onions that I planted. I think all the telegraphs have gone. If you'd like an observer, we've got plenty of those. I don't think we've got the chocolate croissants. No. Nope. Mate, you've got to get up early.